If you're using AI powered tools in PixInsight, such as Star Exterminator, StarNet, Blur Exterminator, or Noise Exterminator, and your computer happens to have an NVIDIA GPU in it, there is a good chance that you could speed up the processes by an order of magnitude. Let's get to it. All of my instructions today will be based on this tutorial here. I'll make sure to leave the link in the description down below. Now, I have done such a tutorial in the past. This is a renewed version simply because it's based on the newer version of the NVIDIA CUDA toolkit, and it makes the processes even faster. So if you have the old version installed, you may still want to follow those instructions. First, you need to check the prerequisites. In this uh, tutorial, you'll see that you have a link to a list of supported GPUs, GPUs for graphical processing unit or video card. Um, and for me, I have a GeForce GPU in my laptop. It's an RTX 1660 Ti. It's absolutely not listed here, but cross fingers, it's going to work. <laughs> we'll see. Um, and uh, you also want to make sure that you have a developer account on the NVIDIA website. So if you don't, you can create one for free. It is a prerequisite to downloading the tools. Then you can follow those four links here to download the tools, the CUDA toolkit, the QDNN, the TensorFlow, and Zlib. Uh, for the last one, you really want to right click and click Save As, otherwise you're not able to download it. Once you're done, we get into the meaty part. The first step will be to make your way into the PixInsight binary folder. And I should have mentioned this is for Windows only. So for me, it's program, program files, PixInsight and bin. This is the default install folder. So unless you've customized your installation of PixInsight, it's probably there for you as well. Next in here, you'll want to find the DLL called or the file called tensorflow.dll. I'm going to right click on it and uh, rename this file. There, I'm not used to Windows 11. And I'm just going to add a da dash old. Okay, so now we have the old tensor DLL. And the next part is to go to the files that you have downloaded. And here I have the four files that I just downloaded from the links in the tutorial. Uh, to, you need to unzip the lib TensorFlow to start with, and you can use the extract all feature of uh, Windows to unzip that. I am going to um, extract. And now that it is done, I can just go in the lib folder and I am going to copy the TensorFlow DLL uh, back to the bin folder from PixInsight where we just renamed the old file. So I'm just going to drag and drop and this will ask me for administrator permission. I will provide this permission. Okay, first step is done. And now that we are done with the lib TensorFlow, I am going to be installing CUDA. So this is again from the downloaded files. I will just double click without renaming the file. Here it is. We're going to agree to this, agree to this as well. And we're going to wait until it starts up and it will check compatibility first. So we'll let it run its compatibility check. And we're done. I'm getting this warning here. This is fine. I can ignore it. And I'm just going to press on continue. I'm also going to agree to the license after like every time reading it extremely carefully. Agree and continue. And here, the important part is I want to select custom. And in here, I am not going to be installing everything. Specifically, I'm just going to uncheck everything for now. We're actually going to install only a single part of this. I'm going to open CUDA, runtime, and just check libraries. So this is what you should be getting. Everything is unchecked except libraries that's checked. And then runtime and CUDA have a green square in this. Anything else is unchecked. I'm going to just click next and just agree to the default path here. So program files, NVIDIA GPU computing toolkit, CUDA version 11.8. I'm going to say next, and we're going to wait for the installer to be done. Note that you need to be connected to the internet to, for this to work, uh, as it is downloading the relevant installation packages. And it's downloaded the packages. We're going to wait for them to process and to finally get installed. 
and we are done. So this is fine. I'm going to close the window and we can now go to the next step. The next step will involve this time taking the QDNN uh, file and I'm going to right click on it and again extract all. Extract using the simple Windows extractor. And in the extracted folder that comes up, I want to go down to the bin folder. And what will happen next is that I have the bin folder from the Qt DNA that DNN that I just downloaded. And on the right hand side, I've opened the uh, bin folder. Here it is of the uh, NVIDIA GPU computing toolkit that we just installed. And if you kept the default path, it should be in program files, NVIDIA GPU, GPU computing toolkit, CUDA version 11.8 bin. And what I'm going to do is take all of the files that I downloaded and drag and drop them to this folder. And it will ask me to provide administrator privileges. I'm going to agree. And I'm going to do this for all current items. And there we are. And the next step will be uh, for Zlib. So again, just like before, I'm going to extract all. And we have DLL x64 in the extracted folder. Now, this is the same as before. On the right hand side, I have the NVIDIA GPU Co Computing Toolkit CUDA 11.8 bin folder. On the left, I'll just select this DLL here, Zlib WAPI and move it and press continue to provide uh, the requested privileges. The next step is to update the environment variables, which kind of tell Windows where to find files effectively, uh, or executable files. So for that, I'm just going to press the Windows button to get the menu out and the search uh, menu out. I'm going to search for environment. And you can see immediately I get the edit the system environment variables. I'm going to click this and then in the panel that opens the system properties here, I'm going to click on environment variables uh, in the um, I have a user variables and I have system variables. Now in the system variables, I will want to click on the new button here and I want to add a new variable and this variable I copy pasted from the tutorial. It is without this, the quotes TF underscore force underscore GPU underscore allow underscore growth and the variable value will be true in uh, small letters. This is quite important. So uh, let's say OK. And now we have in here a new system variable that's available. Still in the system variables, I am not going to scroll and find the path variable. This is the path variable. I'm going to click edit and we can see there's tons of values in there. I am going to click on new and here I am going to put the path of the bin folder from the NVIDIA GPU computing toolkit to which we've been uh, dragging and dropping files to. And if you already have something that previously existed um, and you don't need it anymore, you can remove it or you can put it below this version 11.8. So if you had already installed the um, NVIDIA CUDA accelerated uh, system, just like we are doing now, you might have something already. You want to make sure that you use the move down button on the old version to put it below version 11.8 or even completely delete it. And I'm just going to press OK, OK and OK. With this, we should be done with the installation. Now we just need to test that it works. To do so, I've opened this file in PixInsight. L the last time before I installed CUDA um, to remove the stars using Star Exterminator took around 10 minutes. Uh, and we'll see how fast it becomes. I'm also going to right click on the taskbar and select the task manager. And under performance here, uh, I have GPU one available. And so if you don't have it, don't worry about it. This is just to uh, to check that that things are working. And what I want to do is somewhere I want to see if there's CUDA available. CUDA is not available. If you have CUDA, you want to display it. Otherwise, we'll see if the process has worked by simply running Star Exterminator on this and seeing whether it less it takes less than 10 minutes this time. So I am going to open Star Exterminator, even though it works also with Starnet++. And uh, I am going to 
um, start a timer and run it. Okay, here's our timer. Here's our GPU usage. Oh, and do we see a spike in GPU? Yes, we see a spike in GPU. This is good, um, good sign. It probably means that now we're using the GPU to process. Yes, this is so much faster than before the removing the stars. Will we get it down to one minute? If we get it down to one minute, it's going to be a 10 times improvement over what it was before. I think we are going to get there indeed, especially uh, since I started the timer prior to launching the process. We're almost done. We're almost done. We are done, ladies and gentlemen. That was 49 seconds. I'm going to stop it. Like, let's say 50 seconds to be generous from 10 minutes to 50 seconds to a starless image. My uh, computer is also very loud now because it's using the GPU, but you can see it works. And so even if you have the old version of uh, CUDA already installed, 11.8 is faster compared to even it. So, you know, if you're always wanting to eke out more speed out of your AI processes, this is the way to do this. I hope this has been useful. If you found it useful, you may want to go and subscribe, click the like button, leave a comment, and really all of those actions help the channel out a lot because it, inter it increases the interaction with the video. And that's one of the main metrics that the YouTube algorithm uses to recommend my videos to other people. So help other people by helping me, <laughs> by helping you. <laughs> Uh, with that, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget whenever you can to look up at the stars and I'll see you next time.